Good evening, everyone. We're going to get started here in just a minute. This is Compline Prayer. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Chris. Tonight we'll be doing Compline Prayer. It is a short prayer service out of the Book of Common Prayer, starting on page 127. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer, it can be found at bcponline.org. Or if you prefer, you can just choose to sit and listen and offer prayers silently as is <clears throat> feels appropriate for you. We are offering these services Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m., either myself or Brother Les Roberts. We also have a morning prayers and reflections at 8.30 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday with Reverend Ann or Deacon Frank. And we offer a Sunday service that we try our best to stream through Facebook, but it's always there, if not during the service, shortly after our 10 o'clock service. If you'd like to participate at, with that, we do that via Zoom, and you can just go to the Trinity Episcopal Church page in Elkridge, Maryland, and we can get you connected with that. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's take a nice breath, and we'll begin on page 127. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us turn to page 131 and we will recite Psalm 134 together. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever, amen. Turning now to page 132, our reading will come from 1 Peter. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Turning to page 134. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. At this time, I invite you to offer up your prayers of intercession, whether aloud or in your hearts, or you can type them into your chat box. Today is the 6th of May, and we offer prayers for all those who are celebrating birthdays or anniversaries today. We offer prayers for those who are recovering from any sickness, especially those who are suffering with the COVID-19, 
and for any whose sickness is keeping them separated from their families and loved ones due to the social isolation. We offer prayers for all who must travel during this time. We offer prayers for all those who are in trouble, especially those who are on the front line taking care of COVID-19 patients and those who are in essential services taking care of the rest of us who are staying at home during this time of social isolation. We offer prayers for those who are bereaved, especially the Zaccarino family who lost their grandmother to COVID-19 in these last few weeks. We offer prayers for those who are preparing to be baptized. We offer prayers for all those who are departed, especially those who have passed during this time without the comfort of their loved ones to be there to hold their hand and ease their passing. Heavenly Father, we pray for all of the things that we have to be grateful for, and we pray for all of those who are struggling with unemployment and fear and depression and anxiety, both because of what is going on and perhaps only because they would have been struggling with that and this situation only makes that time worse. We ask you to give comfort, guidance and support and help all of those folks not to feel alone. Help those of us with fewer things on our plates to find ways to offer support and comfort to all whom we can. We offer prayers for our cities. Heavenly Father, in your word, you have given us a vision of that holy city to which the nations of the world bring their glory. Behold and visit, we pray, the cities of the earth. Renew the ties of mutual regard which form our civic life. Send us honest and able leaders. Enable us to eliminate poverty, prejudice, and oppression, that peace may prevail with righteousness and justice with order, and that men and women from different cultures and with differing talents may find with one another the fulfillment of their humanity. We pray for all who are in a position to influence public opinion. Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak where many listen and write what many read, that they may do their part in making the heart of this people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous. To the honor of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. And we pray for the future of the human race. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed us and given us dominion over all the earth. Increase our reverence before the mystery of life and give us new insight into your purposes for the human race and new wisdom and determination in making provision for its future in accordance with your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. And now let us continue on the bottom of page 134 saying together, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever, amen. Saying together, Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you all for joining us. That concludes the Order for Compline for this evening. If you'd like, again, tomorrow morning at 8.30, uh, Reverend Ann will be doing morning prayers and reflections, and tomorrow evening at 8.30, Brother Les will be doing the uh, Order for Compline again, and again on Sunday at 10, we will have Sunday worship. I wish you all a peaceful night. Please know that you are loved, that God is with you, that we are praying for you, and we hope that we can all be together again soon. God bless and good night.